We have seen also in, in our trial that, that there are quite some uh, wake-up patients. Uh, and also in the dawn and the fuse trial, there are quite some wake-up patients. I, I even think that in the general stroke or the endovascular-treated patients, we, we have up to 20% wake-up patients. And uh, what my argument is, or my, how should I say, my, my I call it sometimes frustration, is that patients that um, arrive when they wake up with a stroke are considered late window patients. Now, I started that um, presentation with why do we treat patients in the early window without advanced imaging? And we touched on that already in the beginning of this uh, interview. We do that because we don't want to lose any time. And although there are probably some patients, fast progressors, that will not have a benefit, we don't care about that so much because the majority in the early window will benefit and we don't want to, as I said, lose time. Second, in the early time window to do additional uh, advanced imaging is less reliable. Uh, patients may have a GO score, so it seems, seems that they have a large score, but in, in reality, it, that's not the case. Uh, there have been a, public, uh, a few publications about that. So in the early time window, I think we should not do any advanced imaging, just go as fast as possible to open the vessel. In the later time window, there is reason to select either CT perfusion or what we have shown now with, with collaterals. That takes extra time, of course, it, it takes time to take the decision. Um, but we know that in the late time window, the very fast progressors are already out. They, well, they are already dead or are in such a bad condition that you don't treat them anymore. So you you have the, the, the slower progressors in that late time window. Now you have a little bit more time. And if you would treat all patients in the late time window, it will be very inefficient because there are many patients already that will probably not fulfill the criteria and treating them all is inefficient. So I said there is good reason to treat patients in the early window without advanced imaging and to treat patients in the late window uh, with advanced imaging. Now, the question is, how do you consider wake up patients? At the moment, they are considered late window. So we do all the advanced imaging that takes time. And in my opinion, they are all or nearly all early window patients. And we should not do this advanced imaging. We should go as fast as possible. There are quite some fast progressors in this cohort and losing time looking at collaterals, looking at CT perfusion, etc., will be damaging for those patients. That's my argument. And the, the thing is that you should have it in the guidelines to, to have things changed. I, I completely agree that a first or second year resident on the emergency department will look at the guidelines and uh, behave following the guidelines. So she or he will ask, what time did you go to bed? And then it was, it was the evening before. So then they consider them as late window. And I hope that we can change that one day. But we need, yeah, in fact, we need real evidence. We all, well, we now have um, secondary evidence, in fact, but not the real evidence.